Those kids have nothing. Those children have such a potential of growth. We're going into an orphanage where there are currently 32 orphans, um, all under the age of seven, and they're living in a tiny little shack. And it's all because of one woman's compassion. Here it is. Here is Mama. Okay, tell us who she is. Well, Mama has, and it's a little bit like every history of a lot of orphanages. She started adopting AIDS orphans um, and it started with just three orphans. She made a commitment to their parents when they were dying that she was going to look after the children if not to find them a home to be their home and um, as we say maybe her biggest weakness is her big heart and she has not turned anyone away and she now has 32 children living in a very tiny area. And I was extremely shocked on the conditions of this school. Children that are under six years old are, li are sleeping with Mama, who is the caregiver and the founder of the orphanage. We want another room for those kids. We want them to hopefully have a bed for each kid. Right now, the three, three kids are sleeping in the same bed. So, and what I learned working there in South Africa is the kids are in need of owning something. like. I want them to have their own little space so they can say it's my bed, it's where I can you know, put my teddy bear or whatever, but something they can own. A child needs to be able to say that belongs to me. They don't even have child, uh, parents, they cannot even say that's my mom, that's my dad. So they need to have, to belong, to have a belonging somehow. I want every dollar that has been collected should have been with a lot of love, commitments, efforts, initiatives. In the same time when we go there, I want every possible dollar to be well invested. So um, clearly right now they are in need of beds and mattresses, uh, nappies, uh, of course they need a car um, so they can move. <sighs> I think everything changes around you when you know you're loved. And I'm not saying about help, I'm talking about love. Um, when you know somebody cares about your growth, when somebody wants to know who you want to become in five years, 10 years, 15 years, this is already such a strength and a power for them to feel like they can, they can provide this, those kids with an amazing growth if we give them the power for that. So, Again, that's not a question of sending them supplies or building a, fr a floor. It's about know that you have people here in Austin that are committed to go through times with you. And maybe in the future we're going to sponsor some education for the kids. I don't know. It's possible. Um, but I really want to create this long-term relationship. It's very important to me. Otherwise, I don't think I'll be, I'll be doing that. I'll be traveling again in some other countries and volunteer in India or whatever, but I, I have to feel this connection between them and us here, despite the distance. And it's happening already. I mean, everybody here is like, oh, those kids are so cute. What is the name? Blah, blah, blah. We are already creating this little family, <laughs> uh, universal family, if you can say. And, uh, and the good thing is that in our volunteer group, there are a lot of international people also. So I don't want to do something big, famous, I just want everyone to come back here and say I have the power to do even more than I thought I could and I want those kids in South Africa said they are not going to forget about us. That's, I think, that's the final goal. If I can do that, that I'd be happy. So. So if you guys are interested in donating, please go to www.austintoafrica.com to make a donation or find out other ways of helping us achieve our goal. austintoafrica.com austintoafrica.com There is a beautiful button on the top right that says donate now. It's very easy. Click and just please uh, help us with your donation.